What's going on guys, back with another top 5 cards that I believe could see some solid gains over the coming weeks and months. Last week we talked about this man right here, Damian Lillard. I said that I thought he was undervalued, thought that his prices had hit their floor, and that he could potentially request a trade literally one day after I recorded that video. It was reported that Dame was indeed considering asking for a trade. Since then, his cards have seen significant spikes. On July 20th, just a couple of days ago, there were two sales of his Prism Rookie PSA 10 at $1,200 each. So congratulations to anyone who saw my video and got in when the card was only around $700 to $750 to $800. Personally, I think it's a card that still has a lot of room for growth, especially if he ends up with a big market team like the New York Knicks or the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, if you guys want to get picks like this, get ahead of the game, subscribe to the channel. I launched this channel uh, just a, a little under a month ago, guys, and I'm, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. I'm getting close. I'm inching closer every single day. Uh, so your support definitely goes a long way, and I really appreciate it. It. It's free and easy. Also, hit that bell icon to be notified when new videos drop. I plan on doing these top five pick videos every single week. Now, let's get into this week's picks. Coming in at number five this week is Carl Anthony Towns. So, Towns holds career averages of 22.9 points per game, almost 12 rebounds per game, to go along with nearly 53% field goal percentage and 83.5% free throw percentage. Towns is only 25 years old and should be entering the prime years of his career. He is as under the radar as it gets in the NBA. The guy's a two-time All-Star, former Rookie of the Year, and consistently a top 10 pick in fantasy basketball. There's been plenty of trade talks surrounding Towns, and this may be the year that the team finally pulls the trigger if things, you know, just don't click on the court. Either way, I think his cards are greatly undervalued. His 2015 Prism Rookie in PSA 10 is currently selling around the $175 to $225 range, which would be the lowest it has been over the past year. His pop is also pretty low on this card, guys. It's only $1,274 in PSA 10. Whether he stays in Minnesota and the team builds around him and Anthony Edwards, or he gets traded to a new team, I think that the future is bright for Carl Anthony Towns, and I think this is the time to get in on him. Sticking with basketball in our number four spot this week is Zion Williamson. To be frank, guys, I think Zion has dipped too low, and I think we've hit the floor on a lot of his cards, especially from sets with lower populations. Zion was an all-star this past season, put up monster numbers, and for the most part, he stayed healthy. He kind of lived up to the hype that he was getting in his rookie season when his prices were 3 to 4x higher than they are now. For Zion in particular, I'm looking at his select concourse and premier level cards in PSA 10. I think these are greatly undervalued, especially compared to his Prism base, which currently has a pop count of nearly 19,000. In comparison, his premier level PSA 10 has a pop count of 654 and the concourse 2539. As seen on the graph, his premier level select is selling pretty close to uh, the same price as his PSA 10 Prism, right around the $400 range. Also guys, for anybody unaware, population count means the amount of any card in a particular grade. For me, lower population cards are the way to go. It's built in scarcity, right? Instead of getting the exact same card that everyone else has, get something a little more unique. As the hobby evolves, I think lower pop cards will start seeing increased demand. It only makes sense for collectors to chase rare cards as opposed to the overpopulated cards. Switching over to baseball for our number three card of the week, we have Ronald Acuna Jr. Unfortunately for fans of the Atlanta Braves, their young superstar Ronald Acuna Jr. went down with a season-ending ACL injury just a few weeks ago. Acuna saw big rises prior to the season on his cards, and he was living up to the hype. As it tends to happen, his cards saw a sharp dip after reports came out that his season was indeed over. To me, this is opportunity ringing the bell. While many collectors are in a hold mode on Acuna, a lot have decided to cut bait. As seen in the chart, his card has fallen quite a bit. It's hard to know exactly where the bottom's going to be, 
but the one thing that is almost certain is that his cards should see a significant rise prior to his return, likely next season. Historically, this has almost always been the case when a superstar level player makes his triumphant return from injury. Now, there are many options when it comes to Acuna. His flagship Tops and Tops Chrome cards are quite affordable at this time, but they do have rather high pop counts. If you were ever thinking of picking up a higher end Acuna, something a little more rare, something called a pink or a refractor or x fract or something like that, your best opportunity may be coming in the coming weeks and months. So keep an eye out for fire sales and auctions especially. I think there'll be some great deals to be had. Uh, before we move on to the next pick guys, I just wanted to let you know that these graphs that I'm showing here are from the Market Mover software by Sports Card Investor. In my opinion, it's the best data tool out there. It just makes me money, guys. It helps me make informed decisions. You can compare cards, sets, players, look at sales data on tens of thousands of cards in different grades and even raw. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll link a promo code in the description. They have monthly and yearly memberships. Totally worth it in my opinion. Check it out. In our second spot this week is DeMar DeRozan, presently of the San Antonio Spurs. To me guys, this is the lowest hanging fruit out there this offseason. DeRozan is coming off one of his best statistical years and still has plenty left in the tank. He's an unrestricted free agent and I think the odds of him resigning with San Antonio are somewhere between zero and zero. The Spurs are going into rebuilding mode and focusing on their young talent. DeRozan is at a point in his career where I believe that contending for a championship is a top priority. I expect him to sign with a big market contending team like the Clippers, the Lakers, the Celtics. DeMar has been under the radar for so long that his card prices are fairly reasonable if not straight up cheap. So the population reports on his Tops and Tops Chrome cards are pretty low. You may also want to consider raw cards and definitely parallels if you can get your hands on them. So little thing that some people may not know is DeMar actually grew up in Los Angeles idolizing Kobe Bryant. So if he suits up for the purple and gold next season, I expect his cards to absolutely skyrocket. Last on our list this week is Daniel Jones of the New York Football Giants. So the NFL season is right around the corner and with basketball now in the rear view, I believe a lot of attention is going to shift to football players, especially in the quarterback position. Jones has been a bit of an enigma his entire career, but this year looks like the pieces may come together for the young quarterback. The Giants made some big time free agent splashes this offseason, signing the likes of Kenny Galladay, plus the Giants all pro running back Saquon Barkley is set to return from injury. There are no guarantees that Jones will ultimately live up to his potential, but I believe that his prices could see a significant spike leading into week one. There are a lot of options with Jones, but I think a safe starting place would be with his prism and his select cards in PSA 10. If you feel like gambling, pick up a silver. Population counts on all these guys is pretty low. Either way, pay close attention to reports out of training camp and be ready to sell when the moment is right. I think Daniel Jones is gonna be a good short-term flip. That's all for this week, guys. Check out these other videos, hit the like button if you dug the video that you just watched, and subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. See you next time.